Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here's your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar, a second bullish white soldier yesterday and the highest high since late January with, incidentally, a good matching high close as well. Most importantly, it was a close and a good one over the very significant 50% Fibonacci line of the January 2021 to September 2022 move at 109.44. This 50% Fibonacci line had capped the rises of the last three weeks, as well as the January move higher. Back in January, the market only managed one close over it, so it'd be interesting to see if the market can manage any more consecutive ones this time. Below, we still have the congestion made up from the combination of the flatlining short medium moving average, currently at 107.48, the April 2020 low at 107 and a quarter, and even the trend lines below from the old September to November 22 ascending wedge pattern. Looking topside, the next levels to watch out for are the flat July 2017 to November 2018 head and shoulders neckline, currently 111.05, and the congestion from March 2020 centers around the 111.39 area. So far today, a small peak higher, but still below February's high. The market seems to be stabilizing over the 50% Fibonacci line at 109.44. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A second bullish white soldier yesterday, and a more than suitable follow-on higher to the previous session's immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern. It was the third highest high and second highest close since early June last year, and continues to use the congestion centered around at 124, that extends up to 124.5 as support. Above, we still have target X1 at 125.90, the secondary and hardest reach target for the February to early March descending wedge pattern. All this move higher had been an immediate, if initially modest, but now more significant follow-on higher to the monthly key reversal up made in March. Looking below, under the congestion evident in the 124 even area, we next have support at the 50% Fibonacci line and the June 2021 to September 22 move at 123.16, with the June 2020 low at 122.48 thereafter. Looking above, well, there is the possibility now of this week being a weekly key reversal up. All depends on whether the market can exceed last week's high of 125.25, and we've come very, very close to it so far. So, a sm so far today, a small attempt higher, a cautious move higher so far, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Euro sterling. A second bullish white soldier yesterday with the market seemingly capped by the overhead flatlining short medium moving average, currently 88.26. Below, we now have the slowly rising medium moving average, currently 87.89, and below that, the bridge, but important. August 2022 to date uptrend currently at 87.65 as highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. For clarity's sake there is not a sideways triangle here because frankly they are not good enough, not yet anyway. But I'm also mindful of the overhead 50% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to March 22 move at 88.51. So far today a dip down to the medium moving average possibly maybe even to gather support but the market's pulled back up upon reaching and looking like an indecisive doji cross right now US dollar against the Indian rupee an interesting bearish engulfing pattern yesterday it was a rejection of the overhead breached August 22 to date uptrend highlighted in bright red on my daily chart and that's currently at 8214 as well as the further overhead flatlining medium moving average currently 8221 and most importantly the broken optimized lower trend line highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart of the 2023 ascending triangle pattern. It is still early yet, but if this move is exploited further, then it could be seismic. But it also brings up the spectre even now of a possible false break as well. Below, we now have the rising long moving average currently at 81.46, as well as the middle time currently 81.36 of the October 22 to early January this year bearish shift pitchfork. This is highlighted in dark green on my daily chart. For clarity's sake, the upper tine is just under the upper trend line, currently at 82.96 of the sideways triangle. This sideways triangle is the current dominant pattern here. Now, so far today, a cautious move, a cautious open higher, followed by an interesting move lower. Very interesting. US dollar against the Brazilian real. 
a bearish long black marabozo yesterday and a bearish second black crow as well. This was a suitable follow-on lower to the previous session's bearish engulfing pattern and bearish opening black marabozo combination. Most importantly, it was a move and close below both the middle time, currently at 494.91, of the broken late July to late September 2022 bearish shift pitchfork. The pitchfork is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. And that's as well as the 50% Fibonacci line of October 2019 to May 2020 move at 496.61. It's also the lowest low and low close since June 2022. Looking at this pitchfork again, despite it being broken, this pitchfork is still influential. Though I'm minded to look more towards another pattern that was created by this very same pitchfork. The November 2022 today bear channel currently at 487.92 to 537.33 which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. We are now not too far away from the lower bear channel line. Please note that these two patterns are complementary to each other with one giving birth to the other but I'm minded to perhaps think the bear channel is becoming a more dominant pattern right now. Over all of this is still the shadow of the monthly key reversal down we saw in January. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, which wasn't that hard a thing to do, to be honest, as the previous session was an indecisive doji cross. It nevertheless was an interesting move lower, as the market seems tempted by the congestion below, consisting of the lower bear channel line, currently at 1777.98, and highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, of the September 22 to date bear channel. Nearby is also the neckline, currently at 1786.94, and highlighted in purple on my daily chart, of the February to April 2021 head and shoulders top. This had acted as the latest roadblock in this market's journey south. It is interesting to note that the lower bear channel line and the neckline are now separating away from each other and thus reducing their combined potency. Meanwhile above, we have the declining short medium moving average, currently 1843.03. The February 2020 lower, 1851.71. And the neckline in bright green, currently 1855.47, of the January to May 2021 head and shoulders top. This neckline had been, in port, had been important back in February when it was getting tested, but has since diminished. I also know the declining short moving average nearby, currently at 1823.05, though I suspect that may be more coincidence than by design. So far today, a small attempt low, though it has been limited, and we are still above yesterday's low. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.